Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers from Butterscotch.com and welcome to your tutorial series on iOS 4, the new mobile phone operating system from Apple. iOS 4 replaces iPhone OS 3, which powered the iPhone 3G, the 3GS, and the iPod Touch. The new iOS 4 runs on all these devices, plus the new iPhone 4 hardware. One of the things that iOS 4 adds is multitasking, which isn't exactly new in the world of computing or even in the world of mobile devices, which hasn't appeared in the iPhone until now because of Apple's concerns with the efficient use of the battery. Apple has instituted a new series of specifications governing multitasking, which allow a limited number of things to run in the background, even as you open up and use other applications. This includes stuff like voice streaming, voice over IP, and a few other things. Now, when you open an application, it'll start running. When you close it, it'll remain in the background. If it's written to Apple's new specs, it'll continue to function in the background, but if it isn't, it'll just freeze or reset until you go back to it. So we're going to uh, go and uh, open up an application, say, the Stocks application. Now, to see what other programs are running in the background, you double-click on the Menu button, which will open the multitasking bar at the bottom, which is just like the dock. Now, it'll show you only the things that are running in the background. To open another one, you would just click on the applic application icon in the background, and it'll fire back up again. Double-click to open it up again. And you can swipe your finger left and right to, to see all of the applications that are running. Now, if you want to remove an app from this to get rid of it out of memory, you'll double-click the menu button as you have before, and then hold your finger on the application you want to remove. So I want to get rid of the voice memos application, so I'll hold. Minus sign will appear there on top, and then I will click on it, and that will disappear from memory. It's no longer running in the background. Now, this works in the same way as removing apps from your main screen, but in this case, it won't actually remove it from the apps on your main screen just from memory. So if we go back here, hit uh, Menu System again to get out, and you'll see Voice Memos is actually still here. It's just not running in the background anymore. Now, one other fun thing about this is when you swipe to the left over here, I guess you're swiping your finger to the right, but over to the left of the Menu System, it'll open up this other thing that uh, has a few controls here, including iPod Player controls, and this one over here, which is actually an orientation lock. Clicking the orientation lock means that when you tilt your phone back and forth from side to side, it won't actually change the orientation of the screen. This is like the uh, hardware switch found on the iPad, but this is just software on here. So to unclick that so that your phone will rotate as normal, you just click that again. And when you're done, press Menu System to exit. Anyways, that's an overview of the multitasking functionality of new iOS 4. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.